Happy Saturday, everyone. I am doing a fun envelope album today. So I am using, just FYI, my Coco Reno dies today because you guys know I'm a team designer. So I will be using a couple of them. Um, I just wanted to show you this month's dies are the edging dies and they're so cute. As you can see, there's like several of them and I did a few cutouts and these are the stamps that will be uh, also this month's right here. So pretty, this one is just gorgeous. I need to use them. I have so many stamps and I need to use my stamps. Um, I just get carried away with my tutorials and I just, I need to implement them more I feel like. But um, they're so pretty and if you saw my Instagram post, that's what I used um, as one of the little pieces in here. So uh, here I have an envelope album and I tried to make it different than the, sorry, the standard envelope albums that I've done in the past and that everyone else has done. I wanted to just kind of show a new way to do the envelopes. So in our tutorial today, I'm using the A2 envelopes that I created in another tutorial that I'm gonna link on the top of the description. So for those who are, you know, kind of already pro crafters, this is the measurement of the envelope and the scoring. So it's just gonna be a six and three quarter envelope, I mean, uh, paper by nine and three quarters, and this is where you'll score it at the nine and three quarter mark and then um, six and three quarter mark. So just FYI, I have two envelopes that I created. Now, I put um, just, I put my Velcro over here because this was in the way and I <laughs> taped it. So I don't know if I recommend the dangle, but I thought it was cute. So I am using my digital papers in here too, which is the vellum that I printed on. So here I have just this pretty little, and this is not mine by the way, it was just coincidental. I, I swear to you guys, I didn't see this until after I made mine, but it's very similar to the prints. And I was like, wow, okay. So I'm using this and I just open it. And here I'm using the little edge dies here. And I just made a little pocket. And again, I'm using some of my um, vellum digital prints. I just kind of thought it, that made it so pretty, you know, instead of like just putting in there like that, I love to add vellum on there. And then here I have another pocket. And just FYI, because this is an envelope album, it does in fact have envelope room if you wanna tuck something in there. It's just kind of snug in there. And then here, again, I'm using some more edge dies. I just use it as a, what do you call it? Uh, belly band. <laughs> and then I'm just adding some nice touches here with more of that vellum. And then this was, I wanted to be able to show you guys some ways that I'm using my printables as well. So here I have the part page printed and then inside um, there's another pocket here. And of course you have your envelope pocket too if you wanna add something in there. So just a FYI, there was only a lot of you had um, purchased my packet and thank you so much. But I do want anyone to know that um, because there was only one person who had mentioned like, oh, it's very light. It looks like a stamp. It's definitely meant to be light. This is not meant to be strongly printed. It's meant to be like an accent, something really light. That's why I used the light pink. But of course, if you want something more solid, I'm more than happy to create something more solid if you want like it to show. So this is the album. This is going to take us just a few minutes to make, and I think you guys are going to really like this, just to switch it up, you know, a different cover for your albums and stuff. So, wow, I babbled a lot there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead. So again, you need the, the A2 envelopes. You need two of them. So here's one. Okay, and here's two. So... When we put our envelopes together, and I am using, so again, you don't have to use, make them, you can use a standard envelope and just cover them. That's fine too. But I wanted my cover to have like something there, so that's why. So when you fold it, it looks like this. So what I did here is I took two of my envelopes and you're just gonna do this and glue it together. And 
Then if uh, you want, you could even score this part like I'm doing the cover, but I'm not gonna do that because I didn't do it. But you could score and it would give you more wiggle room in the middle. But I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. So it's just like a normal like envelope album, you know? Except here, we want more room. So what I did is I took my lid and I actually scored this. So when you put this down, just if you're, I mean, you may not have the same envelope as me if you're using scrap. I just scored it at one and a three quarter-ish. So you just have that little, you know, just score it like at a quarter inch so that it gives you a little bit of room when you're closing this album. So it's gonna look like that. And like I said, you can do it on that side too before you score the, um, glue it and it will just give you a little bit of a heightened album. All right, so hold on, I need to reference my book because <laughs> you guys know. So next we're just going to take, <clears throat> We're gonna need three sheets of five and three quarter papers by eight and a half. So all we're doing is taking these sheets and basically just folding them in half, okay? So I'm gonna take all of them and I'm using two regular sheets and the vellum, which is that page that you saw. So I'm going to just go ahead and fold these down or you can score it in the middle. But I'm just gonna fold it to make it easier. Sometimes it's nice to have a tutorial where you're not like using your scoreboard all the time. I see a lot of junk journalers doing that. They don't care about the imperfections. I'm a little bit of a freak about my, my uh, scoring. <laughs> okay, so we have three pages here to choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay, and I know the sad part about this is you have to cover this. So. If you want, you can use like all vellum so it shows through, but it's kind of weird because you see that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. I'm not to cover this beautiful paper, unfortunately. But it's okay, because you can see it on the cover. So that's why I had debated about doing this. I'm like, I don't like covering that. And then I'm just gluing this on, and that's gonna give you your page right there. So next, you know, I have this flap, and this is obviously preference however you wanna do it, but mine is going to be four and a half by four and a half. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna score it at the three and a half inch score. So obviously do it the way your paper is gonna face. So just at three and a half inches, again, this is preference, just how big you want it. And I'm going to go ahead and corner around that right here. And I did it on that side so you know that the score is gonna be on this. I almost said like one inch, but I didn't wanna confuse you guys and then your thing be backwards. And then in here, I'm just gonna tuck this in and I'm gonna glue it on the top. So make sure you don't, I mean, unless you want this sealed and you don't care, like you're not gonna put anything in it because it is hard to see something in there, but you could also layer this up and do a bunch of these like, and just do it. So I'm just gluing it on the top here, not on the bottom. So you still have that pocket. And then you have this little flap here. And again, you could even stack more or you, you could do this. You could like stack it again so that, just to give you some fun ideas, you could do it so it's just like a bunch of really pretty pages coming out of there. But I just did one because that's what I did in my tutorial. I mean my uh, original one. And I'm gonna just stick a flower on there with some foam tape, double-sided foam tape. Okay, and the same thing here. We're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our other page 
and glue it on. So I actually started this tutorial before I got my scrapbook haul and I'm so excited to dive into what I got yesterday. <clears throat> so I said I would do a live and I want to. I am trying to think maybe if I have time tomorrow if I can do it, we'll see. I just, I'm so sorry, like my husband, he's always away a lot for work and back and forth and it's hard for me to balance my kid <laughs> while I'm going live. Like he's old enough now, but still, you know how kids are. So, okay, there's that other page right there. So it's looking like this. And here I added my pocket. Oh wait, let me do this. So, okay, there's two pockets here. I just did one in vellum and I did one, um, I did one here and I did one in vellum. They're, they're gonna be the same size, obviously, because the pages are the same. I just did one regular scrap and one in vellum. Why does it look so dark? Okay, there, can you see that? <laughs> All right, so the pocket, we'll do both the pockets. I already did one, I did the vellum one because you know it's more fussy. So that's gonna go on this page. <clears throat> but the pocket size is going to be three and a half by five and a quarter, or whatever size you want. Again, it doesn't have to be this size, but just for reference, because mine's a little higher, and just score it around at a half an inch. So half an inch, Two short sides, one long side. So half an inch, half an inch, and half an inch. All right, and I'm just going to cut into that. And again, this is the same thing. I just did it twice, okay? So the colored pocket, the paper one, I'm gonna put inside of the book. And the other one I'm gonna put on the front. I don't know why I feel like my camera is in my way today which it always is because it's next to me. I definitely admire the people with the setups. I'm not even going there because I was just so aggravated with it not being professional. Like I want it to be perfect and not shake and I just don't see myself understanding how to do that. People do all these rigs and all this stuff and it just gives me like a headache. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> and my husband's about done helping me. But I do have something. Ooh. I put this in so crooked. Hold on, guys. He said he's not helping me anymore. <laughs> if that tells you anything. Okay, I peeled this off. This is going to stay on. So here is the pocket right here. Make sure everything closes okay. And I definitely put this on a little crooked. Hold on. My glue is wonky. So hold on, let me redo this. All right, now, putting it on. All right, and I had made this one for this pocket. It's just I took the vel my heart vellum and put it with the polka dot. And see, it just makes it so much softer. Vellum just has that effect. Otherwise, it's really harsh. So if I didn't have this vellum, and sorry, these lines are my nail polish, by the way. Well, I guess that's still pretty, but I just like it to be soft for Valentine's Day. So put that there and this here. Oh my goodness, this is really uh, crooked that I put on. I wish you guys were live with me so you could say, hey, that's on crooked. Anyway, so now I'm gonna put this one on, which is the same measurement. And I normally would cut that off, but I just didn't. I'm gonna put this on here and let's see how these hearts look. Let's 
so pretty. And I'm going to put just a, like a card in there, hang in there. That's what we all have to do right now. <laughs> and then I took one of the, you know, the little epoxy things. And I'm just taking some of the scrap that I used. And I'm going to make this little cutout with the heart. Because I thought that the heart was really pretty. It's so foily and... and I'm going to take some just regular tape. Or you can take a glue dot. It would be nice if these already had an adhesive on there. If I had a factory, I could make so many things easier for us. All right, and then I'm going to pop that on there. So there is that. And then, what else did I do here? Okay, so here, with that extra piece right here, I'm just going to glue right here and leave that pocket open. That's all I'm doing. So going to glue around the edges. And at this point, before you glue it on, probably put your little notch in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down. So you have that little extra page in there. Make sure it closes okay. So you're gonna have that pocket. Okay, I gotta just leave this down here for a second. And then on this side is your belly band. So let me find, I'm just gonna take one of these scraps. I feel like that's gonna be too small. I'm gonna use this one. I would definitely rather sew this on. Oh, hold on, that's the wrong side. Because I'm gonna have to cut it. So this is a little longer than my page. So what I did was I glued that on first and then I cut it. I just kind of eyeballed it. Yeah, belly bands I definitely would rather sew on. It's just I had thought of the belly band while I was making the book, so it was kind of too late. And then I had used one of these, and granted, I did sew it on wonky if you look at the bottom, but I'm just going to put that there just to show you that there's something there. And then I have just these cards just to show you that something does in fact go in there. This would be pretty for pictures or photos. You can make it just softer. I have a photo here. I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram. This is actually me and Bandit. My son took it because he got a Polaroid picture for uh, his, I mean a Polaroid picture, a Polaroid camera for his birthday. And it's just cute because you could have little pictures in there too. So is that everything? Oh, I think I did do everything. So we'll just go here. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, my thing stuck to that. Okay, so here we go. Pocket, and then I did have something here. So if you want to just put something there, you can. Here, I'll do that just so it doesn't look well. I would do this with double-sided paper if you have it. But if not, you see that I'm using single-sided paper and it's just as pretty. But I, I have to cover up these white pages because those drive me crazy. And then you have your pockets and then your belly band. Or if you want to put another of the same pocket, you can. It'll fit. And then that. And remember, you have that room inside of your envelope too. So the only other thing I did was just add my little eyelet at the end 
And for those who don't have um, the eyelet, again, you can use the brad as an option. So I just took this and pretty much guessed where I was putting it. <laughs> and then added an eyelet, which I'm gonna add gold because this has a lot of gold in it. And I didn't put a paper ring because I just wanted it to look a little bit different. I'm just going to pop that on there. And then you can just add your little dangles or whatever if you want. And this is the, f the cool thing is with this, I saw that, you know, we had the bottle caps. I was like, how can I have things hold this, but you can just punch a hole directly in this eyelet. I mean, this thing, hold on, let me just show you real quick. So I'm just gonna take this. Let me do this again. And just for those who've never seen these, these are, have a self-adhesive in on this end. So, let me show you. So I just take my eyelet punch or take whatever hole punch you have and just stick it right in and it makes a hole. So you don't really need the other thing that I've seen online because I almost got, you know, jewelry and you can put an eyelet in this, just an FYI, because I've tested this. So I'm just going to show you. See, and then you punch it through and it won't crack because I just tested that too. So this one's kind of small, but it does go in fine. And I don't think it's gonna pop out. It won't pop out. So, and then you could add on your string and put it on there like that. So here's the album. I hope you guys enjoy this. I just wanted to find something kind of fun and different and easy, but you know, it will surprise someone because everyone's so used to an envelope album. I think this is a fun way to give it to them because it looks quite different than the other ones. Why does this keep sticking? Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. They keep like grabbing onto each other, but this is the album, you guys, and I do have more, so I'm excited to share more. I'm gonna dive into that paper right now that I'm done with this project. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.